most people think of the circus, I think things that come to mind are, oh, it's going to be so much fun, there's tons of stuff to do, and it's really entertaining. But if you would ask me, that's not the case. At least not for the animals. At one point or another in our lives, many of us have probably been to the circus, with its bright lights, crazy acts, and loud music. But did you ever stop to question what it might be like for the performers? The animals used in circuses are forced to travel virtually year-round, and often in dirty, cramped train cars. Gross, right? And when they finally stop to set up shop for a performance, it's not pretty. Many elephants can track the human strain of tuberculosis from being in direct contact with their excrement for days on end. Joint problems and arthritis, which are caused by very limited living space, are also an issue for circus animals. When it's time to start prepping for a show, animals are badly abused and learn to fear their trainers. Just a few of the many signs of mental distress are swaying back and forth, head bobbing, pacing, and self-mutilation. We need to realize that these animals are wild and don't do these activities naturally, regardless of what circuses claim. Non-domesticated animals are dangerous and could turn on you in a matter of seconds. It is simply not safe or ethical to keep these animals in captivity. Carson and Barnes Circus makes the claim that caregivers have a mutual bond with the animals that's built on trust and respect. But if this statement were true, there would be no need for bullhooks and whips. What is a bullhook? It is a device with a sharp metal prod on the end to poke elephants where their skin is paper thin, like their ears, eyes, under their chin, and ankles. If you're left thinking to yourself, what can I do to help? The easiest thing is don't buy a ticket. Every dollar spent helps to continue cruel practices. Another way you can help is by joining a peaceful protest outside of circuses. Holding up signs and showing pictures is a great way to spread awareness to people who might not know. And lastly, when someone mentions the circus, just try to remember what goes on behind the curtains.